The fireball has opened up more new attack strategies than I thought it would. Today, you're going to see triple hero charge. We're going to do a warden charge, queen charge, and royal champion charge, and the results aren't what you expect them to be. Recently, we did a double hero charge video, and you guys seem to really enjoy that. So, I decided to take it to the next level today with the triple hero charge. Now, this tested me in terms of my ability to multitask. And I guess you guys will find out in this video whether I think it's a good idea to do this army or not. Just in case you're curious of my hero equipment, here it is. Uh, so you got that nice level 20 frozen arrow. My fireball is level 20, which means I need to bring two quakes with the army. If you've got a max one, you only really need to bring one quake. So we got the warden walk on the left hand side. Now, obviously, I've hit this base a few times in uh in the sneak peek video, so I kind of knew what warden walk I wanted to do here. Really nice to find this as my second attack with the army. Uh, definitely helped out. Um, but one thing I like about this, so. Obviously, you've got the first 30 seconds at the start where you need to figure out where you want to fireball. So for me here, I'm going after the eagle because if I can get the eagle here, have a look at these two quake. Bam, we finish all off. I do miss the expo, but it ends up working perfectly because it pulls the warden down and away from my flame fling, which means it can get more value. Now, whilst you're doing your warden walk, you know what you want to target. You need to think about your queen charge. And here I'm going to queen charge on this top side because it means this mortar should lock onto my queen just in time. Look at that. That was my, that was microsecond per perfect, millisecond perfect. I don't know the measurements of time. I'm failing at life there. But it worked out nicely, and we start the queen walk on the top side, and the warden's just chilling on the bottom. He, you don't have to worry about him if there's not much damage in the area. Him with the rage healers is super nice. Now, we're coming in with the king on the right-hand side. Now, if you guys do want to see a quad charge video, I guess I can try it, but have a look at the king here. He doesn't even need healers. He gets so much value anyway. Those Teslas get completely and utterly wrecked, and now we've got the royal champion charge. I'm a little upset at myself here, so... I raged the Warden, but I missed the healers by a fraction of a tile. So he goes down. I should have used the Raged on the Royal Champion here. She would have got so much value. Don't worry. Later in the video, we're going to do more. Uh, you're going to see more value from the Royal Champion charge. It's really cool, actually. She is so good with the Fox. Now, in terms of this video... So this attack will be the replay. The next two attacks, you'll see voiceover. So it'll be from my live attack point of view. But I'm talking uh, in this time, if that makes sense. And then the final two attacks will be live war attacks. I haven't done them yet. We'll see if we can six pack with the triple hero charge. So we come in and find an unusual looking box base here. And the first thing I'm looking at is the CC. That's your primary target with the fireball. It's not the only thing you can go for, but it is the main thing. And I figure out very quickly what I'm going to do here. Uh, you can see I'm already, I'm not using all the time and I'm worried about the flame flinger. So I see easy flame flinger on the bottom here. Now there is a ground bow, but that is where we're going to warn and charge. So we use two super bubs, one to get rid of the mortar for the flame flinger and the other just to check if there's any corner Teslas. I should probably drop one super barb in this army and bring a, mich a mixture of barbs and archers. So the warden walks coming in the middle here, tanking for the flame flinger nicely. And what I want to do with this warden uh, charge, I guess, is go after the eagle artillery. Because if you can see the eagle artillery, there's not a lot of damage before it, so I won't have to use too many spells. And I'll get the eagle, I'll get the CC, poison tower and maybe some of those defending air heroes so the warden's doing a great job of finding traps that would have got my flame flinger otherwise they're working perfectly in tandem here and it's not taking too much time yes we're about at 50 seconds here but that is not the end of the world you can start your queen charge with this army as late as a minute 40 and still get a triple but you definitely don't want to start any later than that so we put the two quake down fireball goes off and bam that all goes down. Now, I don't quite get the eagle down with two quake. I would need a third one for that, but it is one HP. So we start the queen charge on the top side. Unfortunately, this eagle is going to stay alive for a little bit, but my warden's not in trouble. He's full HP. If he's not full HP, I would have put a rage spell down there because the eagle, yeah, as you can see, as I'm going back and forth here, the eagle takes a lot of health off him. Now, you're going to see me do this a lot with these attacks. That's why I wanted to show you the live recorded po point of view here to see how much I'm flicking back and forth on the map because that's just what you have to do. 
uh, you have to, you know, kind of understand how your heroes are going to path. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you have to use this army. Oh my god, it's the most broken army in the game. But hopefully, if you guys enjoy watching, you know, Clash of Clans, maybe you'll enjoy this. If you don't, let me know and I'll never do this attack strategy again. Uh, we can just stick to the meta stuff. But we've kind of covered all the meta attack strategies on the channel, I think. That was lucky my queen didn't die through ability. But we've kind of covered everything. So I'm trying to do a few unique attack strategies. Maybe you guys enjoy it. Maybe you hate it. I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. I really enjoy doing some a mixture of creative. But also, you know, we, we show plenty of spam on this channel. Don't you worry about that. So the Queen Charge coming on the top side. The Royal Champion and Warden are working together. I don't mind that. Because uh, my Warden wasn't really going to get a whole lot of extra value. So use the Royal Champion with them. And they both cleared out the entire side of the base over there. RC ability goes off. Takes down the last few defenses. We don't need those last few spells. GG. Now we come in on a diamond base. So you see me flicking around there looking for it, looking for value. And I can't really figure out what to do. Using the Warden Walk on the right-hand side doesn't make a lot of sense. I didn't see a lot of, uh, like, fireball value there. Uh, upon looking at it now, I probably could have gone for, like, the Poison Towers and get rid of the core of the base, but even then, that's not great. So what I end up doing is I'm going after the Multi-Archer Tower, but you see that Multi-Archer Tower is a long way to the left. Now, one thing that uh, I've kind of learned over the years is the Warden does not like to jump walls. Um... He really doesn't. So if I start my Warden like this, and I funnel on the right uh, pretty well, it doesn't have to be amazing, but pretty well, there is a high likelihood he will walk to the left. Now, obviously, this is no different than the Queen, but the Queen can't walk over walls. Uh, so I'm just scanning around here looking for any Flame Flinger value, uh, but there's no real Flame Flinger value on this space. But yeah, if I get rid of this gold mine here, the Warden will keep walking across the wall, and even though he could step over the wall to get the other air bow, the second air bow you see here, he won't. He's just going to keep walking to the left until eventually he goes after that multi-archer tower, whereby I was planning on popping the fireball. But have a look at this. We have spent 50 seconds here, and we're not really close to our fireball target yet. And uh, this is where this attack strategy can go quite bad, because uh, uh, time's an issue. I don't think that was a tough one to figure out, because you've got 15 healers, 225 troop space that aren't doing any damage on... Oh, that's bad math. 15 times 14, what? 210. 210 troop space that isn't doing any damage on the map. So I decide I have to pop the fireball now. I thought it would be in CC range, but that is not in CC range. And now we're in a lot of trouble. Look at it. 1 minute 37. Now a great CC comes out, so we can uh, leave the warden to that. I don't even need to look at it just a Coco Balloon there, just in case, and the Eagle activates, and I believe it is targeting my Queen. Nope, it is targeting the Warden, so I go and have a look over at my Warden just to make sure he's got health, because if he's low health and the Eagle targets him, he will get one shot. Coming in with the blimp here, like I said, there was no flame flinger value. And this is a really nice blimp. We get rid of the eagle and the monolith. And look at what this is going to open up for the royal champion. So we got the royal champion charge. And she's going to cut across the middle of the base. Whilst the queen kind of walks around the top side. My warden has just targeted the town hall. So I've got a rage spell for him if I need it. Yes, you can see how insane this army can be. I put a rage spell down on the royal champion. She's running across the middle. The sweeper's been a pain, but now gonna group up on her healing the fox as well that's a really good thing if the fox gets out in front we'll stand often on the same tile as the rc and can get healed up too i've got no more cleanup though and there's 30 seconds to go we got to get 30 percent of the base all my healers have died off the royal champion i've still got so many spells i've popped my king ability really early i mean the ability lasts forever we've used a rage on the royal champion the warden's doing his thing i freeze the single inferno i pop the rc ability she's charging across the base we find the nato i've got the headhunters to deal with the king but there's seven seconds left i've only just popped my queen ability and yep you can see where this is going 97% time fail. Is that going to happen in war as well? We are live. I can't believe this will go on YouTube. What a stupid thing to do. So in terms of the fireball, I want to target the ricochet cannon here. Because when I come from this side, it'll get eagle, ricochet cannon, all that. It won't quite finish the eagle off, but it'll be 1 HP. So I'm going to start to do this though. I'm going to start the warden over here. Because I kind of talked about it before. 
that as long as I get this building down here, the warden is pretty likely, uh, pretty unlikely to step over this wall and go for, say, this elixir storage. He is much more likely to stay on this side of the wall and, uh, yeah, do, do nothing, as the warden often does. But now, I'm predicting it. So that much is okay. Um, and then we're going to do a queen charge in through the bottom here. Pretty toxic charge, so we'll probably start it on the Tesla there. I'll use my king to help with this compartment and we'll royal champion charge from the top side. Uh, this warden is taking a little bit of time, but I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. So he should step to... So see how it's similar-ish distance? I mean, the expo is closer. Oh, he does step the wall. Oh, that's, that's awkward, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I would love to quake that expo, but I need my quakes to hit. Over there. Beautiful. Wait, no. Is my warden ch joking? I do not want him over here. I need something to finish off this eagle. Because now he's going to follow my queen. I really need him to not follow the queen, but I don't know how I can do this. He's, uh... Jeez, this might end up being 200 IQ, though. That was close. Oh, I thought it was an Ice Golem CC. This is bad. Alright, let's see if we can save this. Let's start the Royal Champion Charge. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with this. Uh, I can't help the Warden out, sad. Oh, okay, I have to blimp now. The Queen stepped around the wall. Thanks. Oh, no! I should have seen that coming, actually. I definitely should have seen that coming. Okay, can we save it? I've got no more cleanup. All the cleanups down. I need... Oh, see, I need you to save that super barb. That super barb might be the difference. Nope, you're not saving. Okay. No, it's time! No! I reckon I get that if that, um... Oh! I should have not blimped! I should have believed in the power! Look at how many swag spells I have, but there's nothing I can do. There's just not enough cleanup with this army. Oh, that's so sad. I finally failed a war hit with a crazy army. Don't worry, we'll be back in the next one. Now, with this base, you're going to notice that it's quite far down on the wall map. Actually, you can't see it now, but it's 23 out of 25. But a lot of the new defenses are, are pretty high level. You see that Inferno and Scatters Max. It's because this person, uh, I had a look at their base. They do not have the Ricochet Cannons or the Multi Arch Towers. That's why there's so many cannons on this base. Look at them. Look at all these normal cannons. So we're going to do a little bit of a test here. I, our base is stronger without um, without the uh, the new the new uh, what is it the new defenses. Obviously, the ricochet cannons worth way more than two normal cannons. So, you know, don't look too much into it. But it's a cool idea to think about. All right, um, I forget what I'm doing. I genuinely forget what I'm doing with this. That's all right. I planned this hit way earlier in the day. Who runs that CC? What? Who runs that CC? Bro, what? Alright, we gotta do a king charge. My warden better be up. Yeah, he's fine. Who runs that CC? I haven't seen anyone do that. Alright, this is the king charge you all wanted. This, this is going bad. The RC should chill. Should be able to chill, though.
All right. I don't have anything to stop the other invis tower. I've still got the fireball. What? <laughs> it's just a one minute water walk now. No. Wait, if I can ward- <laughs> There's no way. This is still possible. No, do not join up with the king. Do not. I, I need to get rid of- Wait, I can wall break them out. I need to wall break them out. How the- What? Help! The troops! Isn't that your purpose? Oh my lord. Oh my word. Can I save this? I thought this was over. No, I was going for something else. No. Hook, don't throw this. I might actually have thrown with that fireball. Oh no. Oh, I think I get it. Do not shoot the wall, Warden. Good Warden. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just hit the microphone. I don't know if you guys should use this attack strategy or not. That was stressful, but it's heaps of fun, right? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs>